I'm going to put some hydrogen peroxide, this is 30%, into a graduated cylinder. And I'm going to put an inorganic catalyst called potassium iodide, and it has a formula of Ki, which I will write for you guys, right here. We're going to be doing demo with catalase, which is an organic compound. Potassium iodide, remember, it has no carbon, so it's an inorganic compound. So I'm going to show you an inorganic uh, catalyst first, breaking down hydrogen peroxide into its two products, water and oxygen. I'm putting the soap in there only to capture the bubbles that come up. It's not really part of the reaction. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of potassium iodide. And it's going to take a second. But for those of you in the back, it's like a big, foamy mess, and it's going to overflow. If you touched this, you would feel that it's actually quite hot. So it's an exothermic reaction, which is not really something that we are testing you on. I need somebody to get the lights. So now I'm going to test what gas is there. Now, the only two possible gases that you could get from water would be hydrogen or oxygen. If this is hydrogen and I stick a lit splint in there, what will happen? Anybody know what happens when hydrogen gets lit on fire? Yeah? Yeah, boom, right? And if it's oxygen, it will just flare up. And you guys know from the reaction on the board that it is in, it's actually oxygen. You may have actually seen this reaction last year uh, when we were teaching about decomposition reactions in matter and energy or chemistry. So do you see how it flared up? And I can do it again, and it flares up. But it's not exploding. You don't hear a boom. Okay? All right, now you can stop it for a minute. 